Hi and welcome to your next lecture in computer science for everyone. This time we're going to talk about ASCII. A-S-C-I-I. -I. ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. It is just a fancy name for saying we're going to put each character and convert it to a number. So letters, numbers and punctuation symbols are all converted to numbers. It's based on the English alphabet and it is used to simplify working with characters. If everything's a number, it's normalized and it's easier to process. So how does the encoding work? It includes A to Z in lowercase, A to Z in uppercase, and 0 to 9 as, character, as numbers, as well as other symbols including punctuation. For example, something like this. It looks a bit bad, but we have the binary code for each um, symbol, for example, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 is decimal 32, and this is the space. 33 is the exclamation mark, 34 is the quotation mark, 35 is the hash sign. Here, this is interesting because 48 is number 0, 49 is number 1, and so on. For example, 97 is character A. And of course, we can convert these into binary for 48 is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. This would be 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. If you add 16 and 32, you get 48. So there you go. So this is what it looks like. Let's take a look more closely at character A. A is decimal 97. Binary one one zero 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 one. So there we have it. Notice how now I've got I've converted the binary code that was in the table into one byte. So I've added zeros before um, any number. Let me show you again. Going back in the lecture. Here the binary says one one zero 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 one. And now what I've done is I've added a zero at the beginning so that it is eight bits. That's only so that it's normalized and so I know every character is gonna be eight bits. So the code is ninety seven in decimal zero one one zero 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 one in binary. Let's convert this to binary. We get the ASCII code for the letters which is 97 in case of A, and then we convert them to binary. So let's try 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. The first part is one letter, and the following part is another letter. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Let's see. The numbers that have zero are ignored, and the others are not. So at the top, only 8 and 64 remain. At the bottom, only 1, 8, 32, and 64 remain. So we can get them, add them together, and we end up with 72 and 105. We go to an ASCII table, which you can find online, and we'll see that... 72 is capital H, 105 is lowercase i. So we've essentially spelt the let the word high, which is 0100100011001, translates to ASCII high. So it's fairly simple. What we have to get from this lecture is that computers only work with binary numbers, bits and bytes, and kilobytes and megabytes and all that. So it's all ones and zeros, it's all bits. Everything is stored as bits in the RAM, the processor works with bits. Every letter, number, space, and punctuation symbol that you see is stored as a binary number. It is programs that convert these binary numbers into the letters, numbers, and spaces that you see. So you can try this one. 
I recommend you pause the video, write this down, and try to solve it. See if you can come up with what it means. So thank you very much for watching. Yeah, let's move on to the next section. So I'll see you then.